Hey guys, hope you guys are having an awesome day. I am by myself today. Graham was a little bit too cold to shoot outside today. So um, I wanna encourage you to say thank you to your mom today. Today is Mother's Day. And so it's a very special day where we thank them and honor them for all that they do for us. They take care of us in so many different ways. And hopefully you've got some plans of how you can thank your mom. Maybe you can make a card for her or you can uh, bring her her favorite juice or there's a lot of things you can do uh, to try and be kind to your mom and maybe you just go clean your room all by yourself without arguing and do that to bless her too so think of a way that you can say to your mom thank you and i love you and uh, we look forward to our bible study time today the videos are going to come up right after this uh, but i want to say happy mother's day to all the moms and boys and girls i want you to look to your mom right now if she's near you and say thank you mom and i love you all right guys have a great day Hoo! It is time to hear a story full of wonder. There's so much fun we'll have learning together. So let's go down, go down to the clubhouse with Holly and his friends. Let's go down, down, down to the clubhouse where wonder never ends at the Wonder Clubhouse. Just one more lemon squeeze should do it. Oh, hey friends. Welcome to the clubhouse. It's me, Poppy, and I'm making something super yummy today. Can you guess what I'm making? That's right, lemonade. I'm helping my clubhouse friends with the lemonade stand. And what do we need for a lemonade stand? Why, the world's best lemonade, of course. My Aunt Ming sent me her best plan to follow. It's her world famous lemonade recipe. I've already squeezed some lemons. So sour. And add the secret ingredient, maple syrup. Mmm, so sweet. And now all we have to do is add one more lemon and some water. Can you help me? Great, let's do it. Let's squeeze this lemon to the pitcher. Stir three times. One, two, three. And now we have to add four cups of water. Can you help me? Great. One, two, three, and four. Great job, everyone. Aunt Ming will be so proud. Now all we have to do is stir it and we'll be all set. I can't wait to try the lemonade. Hoo, hoo. It's Ollie. Hello, Poppy. Hoo, hoo. Making some lemonade, are you? Hey, Ollie, I sure am. I made my Aunt Ming's best lemonade recipe. I followed her plan and I'm doing everything it says. That's a great plan, it's true. I know about an extra special plan for you. Just listen to this story. Just follow me through. Who? Who? Follow me through. There we go. Hola friends, I'm Luis, the handyman. Just going over the blueprint plan for my latest project. Can you guess what I'm going to build? Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's a skateboard ramp. My neighbor asked me to build one for his son. But before I build anything, I always make a plan like this one. So I'll know what to build step by step. Which reminds me of a story. Do you want to help me build it? Great, let's put it on the story fence. Hammers up, little builders. Ready? Uno, dos, tres, hammer. Great job, little helpers. You can put your hammers down. Now, we just need our story tools. Yep, we have everything we need. Okay. So today's true story from the Bible begins with a queen named Esther. 
Now, a queen needs a castle, right? So, hold on one second. There we go. Esther loved God. She knew that God loved her and had a plan for her. Now, this is Haman. He worked for the king, but he did not love God. In fact, he had a plan to do something very mean to Esther's family. One day, Haman told the king that the king should get rid of a whole group of people, God's people. When Esther heard this, she was so upset. The king didn't know, but the people Haman wanted to get rid of were her friends and family. They loved God just like she did. Oh no, that's so sad. Show me your sad face. Well, what should she do? Esther was scared that if she went to the king, he might get mad at her. But then her cousin Mordecai came to tell her something. He reminded her that God loved her and had a plan for her. She could trust God. God loves you, Esther, Mordecai said. You're special. You were made for this. So Esther trusted God's plan. She went to the king and asked him to save her friends and family. And guess what? The king said, yes! Hooray! <laughs> Way to go, Esther. God had a plan for Esther. And God has a plan for you too, because God loves you. Hey there, Ollie. Tell me, who loves you? God loves me. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, who loves you? God loves me. That's the truth, friends. You better believe it. See you next time. So there's your story. It's all true. God had a plan for Esther. And he has a plan for you. Thanks, Ali. Goodbye to you. Hoo, hoo. Wow, what a great story. God has a plan for us, just like he had a plan for Esther. I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you did, say, got it. Get it? Got it! Good! It's always good to have a plan, and God's plan is the best plan. I'll see you next time. Bye! Nothing at all can ever separate us from God's love. Romans 8.39 Nothing at all can ever separate us from God's love. Romans 8, 39.